In Sons of the Forest, crafting reliable structures is essential to your survival. And there are some major changes to construction in this open-world horror title worth knowing, even if you're diving in as a seasoned veteran. Here's how the new and improved building system works in Sons of the Forest. Fans of the Forest should be familiar with the blueprint-inspired assembly prominently featured in the original entry. While this tried-and-true method of building is present in Sons of the Forest, this spooky successor reinvents how you can design the nightmarish bungalow of your dreams. Your handy guidebook is now divided into two distinct modes. The first involves the legacy foundation of plug-and-play blueprints that can be strategically placed in the world. Objects like chandeliers, furniture, shelving, and storage must be crafted via this method. It's worth taking a few minutes to thoroughly study your guidebook to better understand how specific structures and amenities are constructed. While numerous integral blueprints are contained within this section of your guidebook, there's an entirely new category that focuses on manual building. These recipes provide specific instructions that allow for increased flexibility when laying out your floor plans. From basic log walls to defensive perimeters, the versatile approach to construction in Sons of the Forest feels far more robust. Now, let's break down how it all works. Let's say you want to craft yourself a cozy log cabin to help fend off some of those pesky cannibals. While you could certainly choose the prefabricated option and plug in the resources, giving your place a bit of custom flair is far more interesting. To grasp what tools and resources you'll need for the project, open your guidebook and navigate to the freeform section. Here, the pages will highlight how you should organize logs to create floors, walls, stairs, ceilings, and more. When it comes to flooring, for example, simply place a full-size log in the desired position to begin the process. To ensure your logs lay properly, right-click or press left trigger on a controller to swap between horizontal and vertical placement. Once the first log is in place, grab three more and form a square on the ground. To know if you're successfully following the recipe, look for the white guide arrows on your resources, indicating whether the placement fits within the confines of that object type. Once you've formed your square foundation, you can split logs in half using your axe to create the floor tiles. Fill in these gaps and you've got the start of something special. What about walls and ceilings? Well, exactly like our flooring, these components require distinct placement of logs. To start building a wall, stack full-size logs on the edges of your flooring pieces. To account for ceilings and character height, you'll want to stack walls six logs high. Don't worry about boxing yourself in, because in Sons of the Forest, you can use your axe to punch out custom holes for windows and doors anywhere on your established walls, as long as they follow the guidelines displayed in your guidebook. Ceilings are a little trickier and require the aid of support beams. Thankfully, your trusty guidebook demonstrates exactly what you'll need to secure your vital shelter. Begin by placing your support log at an angle against the wall or other support beams. Then grab a second log and look down at the base of the angled log you'll see a unique prompt that will lift the first log into place, allowing you to stack split logs above to create the ceiling or roof. And if you don't feel like pre-splitting your logs, you can use your superhuman strength to essentially rip a log in two with your hands by simply placing a complete log where two split logs would typically fit. Once you've gotten a solid understanding of the fundamentals and experimented with crafting basic lodging, it's time to try some advanced construction and fortify your abode. Stairs offer welcomed versatility in Sons of the Forest. From elevating your residence to providing convenient means of scaling sheer rock walls, understanding how to conjure stairs will dramatically improve your building skills. Like ceilings, stairs begin by placing angled logs against standing support beams. After getting your crude ramp in place, grab a collection of half logs and prepare to slot them. When setting the half logs, ensure the arrows are flat versus angled. This is the difference between creating ramps and stairs. Like we mentioned previously, to swap between the two modes, right-click or press left trigger on the controller. When all spaces are filled with half logs, your stairs are complete. When it comes to support beams, you'll often realize after finishing a project that many of them are no longer needed. Sometimes these once necessary anchors now serve as nothing more than glaring eyesores. Thankfully, you can remove some support beams to clean up your construction and reclaim precious resources. Another beneficial fortification to consider is the defensive wall. These straightforward but remarkably effective barricades can repel invading enemies. To fashion a defensive wall, collect as many logs as you see fit and place them directly into the ground. The placement of each log will be indicated by a white circle. Because of the flexibility of free building, you can fully personalize the layout and angle of your defensive walls. 
Once all logs are in place, use your axe to sharpen the tips into intimidating spikes. And if you're ever unhappy with the placement of an object or structure, you can remove pieces or dismantle them entirely by holding C on the keyboard or X on a controller. To speed up the gathering of required resources for your projects, make sure to lean on your trusty companion, Kelvin. You can send him to acquire sticks, logs, and other critical crafting items. This allows you to continue building while Kelvin delivers supplies directly to you. And if you're crafting something via the blueprint method, you can even task Kelvin with finishing the construction once the blueprint is placed in the desired location. Hopefully, this video helps get you started on your journey of building the ultimate survival horror crib. For more on Sons of the Forest, be sure to check out our growing collection of guides and valuable tips. And for everything else gaming, keep it here on IGN.